Lake Mead within Nevada, home to the famous Hoover Dam, one of the largest man-made concrete structures on Earth, and what many feel will be the last surviving remnant of our civilization's existence on this planet. Although it is also home to a number of other lesser-known yet just as astonishing feats of human engineering. Similar to that of the incredible finds we have previously covered, an ancient mine, and although we know it was created for the collection of salt, the date of its creation remains a mystery with evidential examples of activity within this mine, not only by a now lost civilization, but one that easily predated even that of the Native American himself. As mentioned in the Scientific American of 1926, quote, mines were operating in Nevada many centuries before the days of Aurora and Piyush of Virginia City. One of the discoveries made by archaeologists now delving into the ruins of Pueblo Grande. Many centuries is putting it mildly, for the finds show that mining was in progress at the beginning of the Christian era, some 20 centuries ago, and there are strong indications which point to work created at an even earlier period." End quote. Mysterious circular carving, reminiscent of those of Baalbek, Aswan, Bazda Caves, Longyu, etc., are present within the mine, and although it is claimed these were made with stone picks, a true explanation as to the real technology or tools used to liberate this salt is yet to be discovered, yet the reasoning behind such circular carving has seemingly been unraveled by a find at the bottom or oldest parts of the mine. The salt was seemingly isolated in these circular carving marks as they became deeper and deeper. Then the center block of rock salt was believed to have been broken off by hand and taken out by the miners. What is truly astonishing about this mine is its size. Although initial investigations of the cavern were to identify its purpose, this salt mine has since been bought by industries invested in salt production due to its quality. Yet the mystery surrounding how these ancient people discovered this vault of salt or indeed how they carved their way through an entire mountain in its pursuit, if we assume them to have been primitive in nature and ability, remains an absolute enigma. However, if one were to allocate such feats to a more developed human state, identifying this huge deposit of salt, and indeed the adaptive stone-cutting technologies we feel were clearly used elsewhere, incorporated into this mining process, and explain how they managed to dig to such depths here, and indeed at other astonishing ancient sites the world over, are rather easier to explain. Yet, I digress. Regardless of our own suspicions as to how this incredible mine was created, its existence alone, we feel, is proof that those responsible had far more knowledge and capabilities than modern man gives them credit for. It is an incredibly ancient mine, one in which we and indeed many others within our field find incredibly compelling.